I'm Shahar. And I'm Ash. And this is BuzzBooster.tv. Hey, what? You know what we are going to talk today about? I do. Okay, it's about continuity programs. Continuity programs. Yeah, online they are really known as membership sites. Membership programs, membership websites. Yeah, you know, I thought it was kind of interesting this week what happened. I sent an email hmm. to our list talking about the teleseminar we have coming on continuity programs. Uh-huh. And I got, uh, I, got, I got two emails from business owners saying that that didn't apply to their business. This was oh, kind yes, of a, a business opportunity for people that didn't have any business and mm -hmm. they had businesses. Well, the funny thing is one of them owns a gym. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking to myself, well, what is a gym if not a member-based yes. program? Exactly. Yeah. So continuity programs are really member-based programs that you put in your business in order to have passive income. Now, this is one of the best ways, right? It is. Because it brings what? Passive income? Well, you know how much you're going to make. Mm -hmm. So, because that's a, a, one of the problems that happens with uh, businesses in, all in all. It's like they don't know how much money they're going to make next month. Because they need to make more sales Because they need the to time. make more sales, blah, blah, blah. It, it's, they just don't know. And so it's always that up uncertainty and up and down, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You have a continuity program in place. Well, you know how many members you have. You know how much money you're going to make that month at least plus whatever else that you make that you sell yeah so usually your your continuity program would at least pay all the bills for that yes month, that's right the idea. and the more you have the the better the more members you have the better well any kind of business can have a continuity program any type of business and but that's and that's where i think that guy was a little narrow-minded because he's like oh this doesn't apply to my business well it's just like you said he he's a gym he is a continuity program yeah so and a lot of times people get stuck that way. They, they think, well, my business is a little different. I don't know. I'm an accountant. Um, how, do I, how do I put a membership program in place? Yeah. But, for example, we always like to use the example of the puzzles. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, puzzles are a commodity. You can buy them for a dollar in the yeah. dollar store. But it's this com there is this company that it, I, I, I love their puzzles. It's a whole other deal than the $1 one. They are called state puzzles. Do you remember how his continuity is set up? I, yeah, do you? I do. Okay, so go ahead. I, I, I think well, they have this timeshare program, and people pay ahead to in order to try six different uh, yes. puzzles during the year before yeah. everybody else. See, so, so here the benefit is I'm going to try something to before solve that puzzle else. before the whole market. And I pay, uh, if I'm not wrong, it's like 300 bucks. No, it's like 3,000. Yeah, 300 bucks a month. No, it's like 3,000 a month. <laughs> it's like a it's big... not 3,000. <laughs> it's 300. Okay. okay, but it's still, it's 3,000 and something at the end of the year. But here's the kicker. Yeah. You do it. So it's a membership program, and the advantage is you get to go through it before everyone else does. But you have to send it back. Mm -hmm. So even if it, it is just 300, <laughs> just you have to 300, send it back. Just right. 300 a month to try a puzzle, a puzzle, right? Well, and then you send it back, all of them, and at the end of the year, you can choose one right. that you will keep as your own. So imagine, even if he has only 100 members in that program, how much money, how much more money he's making on top of the sales of his products every day? Each month. Each month. Now, when we talk about online... And wait, so that's, well, that in itself, I mean, the point being, it's a super commodity. You mm -hmm. can buy a puzzle for $1 at the dollar store, and yet this guy has this brilliant program in place, which is a successful program. Mm -hmm. It is already running, and it's been running for years. Yeah. And... And, and you can do this in services, you can do it if you're a coach or consultant, you can do it in many situations, and of course, you can also do online with yeah. membership sites. I mean, our dog, Apple, sorry, I keep interrupting you, I can tell by, she goes like this, <laughs> it's like, oh, she's talking again. So, Apple, our dog, she goes to the doctor, the vet, and she has a continuity program yeah. that we play every month. Good point. Mm -hmm. We pay, we pay a monthly fee. In order to, when we go there, we don't have to pay the whatever fee they ask you for the consultation. Yeah. And we've been doing this She's now since about three years old. She had it since the very beginning. Now the question is, what kind of continuity program you could put in your what business? And again, you could put a continuity program offline or online. Let me give you some ideas of continuity programs. These are not all of them, uh, but the ones that I have on top of my hand. Head. <laughs> head. 
on top of my head. Uh, <laughs> so membership sites, for example, that you can use. Uh, you can, you, let, let's say you're a coach or a consultant. Here, you could have the knowledge or the processes that you have, maybe the how-tos on the membership site where people could go and, and get the information, get the how-tos and apply that. So when they spend the time with you, they don't need to, to be asking basic questions, for example, or going through how-tos that are very simple and you could explain that with a video. This is one format. Another one for coaches is to start a coaching club. So the fact that people can call you for laser sessions that they last about 15 minutes and for that they pay, they pay a premium monthly fee. That's another way. You can be a publisher where you just publish content on a site so people can access. Uh, you can have uh, done for you services, mm -hmm. especially if you are in the consulting or coaching business, it would be really good because of course the person that is uh, having the session with you, they're always asking what's next for me and, and there are going to be needs in this process. And some of those needs you can not only fulfill, you can charge a monthly fee for that. Uh, we, we have several here where we combine the done for you service. Mm -hmm. The done for you service has one very interesting thing, especially if it, it's related to a software, for example. For them to quit paying and get out of your membership causes pain of disconnection. Another one, another format is done for you services that you can combine as a membership program. Okay. So for example, it's normal when you, you, you're consulting or coaching somebody that other needs come in place and they will look in other companies to fulfill that. Well, maybe some of those you can combine mm -hmm. and, and charge a monthly fee for that. We or, use that quite often. Yeah, all the time we use it. Actually, really, I really like that model for us. Uh, if you're in a in a coaching consultant, but if you're also like in a business where it's like graphics or web design, things like that that are more service oriented to the point where you're doing something that they don't that they need, uh, you can do. Let's for instance with a website, let's say WordPress. There are upgrades all the time, so there could be a program in place where they pay a monthly fee for you to make sure that their websites are updated mm -hmm. always. Yeah, and, and that's quite kind of uh, some people in the market call a retainer. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same kind of thing. Exactly, and one thing that you mentioned is the pain of disconnect, and that's something that comes in place a little bit afterwards you have the program in place, but one of the things that you have to start thinking is, okay, what can I put in place? to make sure that people stay in my system month in and month out, right? Because yes. you don't want them, them there just for one month. You want them to stay for a longer period of time. And so when they leave, you have to make it painful. You have to make it painful for them to cut that cord and leave. So what can you offer that if they do mm -hmm. stop, uh, it will make a dent in their business. For example, if you help them create newsletters, monthly newsletters, maybe you put them in a template that they can use and send, or, or you help mm -hmm. with campaigns and things like that, that would cause a pain of disconnect. For instance, the simple example of the tools that you might already be using. If you're using a Weber or a shopping cart or whatever it is, Infusion, and you have all your contacts there, well, the moment you decide to cut it, they all stay there, and then you have to export, and then it's a it's a headache, and it's such a hassle. And you think, well, you know what? I'll just stay. Yeah, it's easier to pay. So that that's a good format, of course. Uh, there are many others, actually. You just need really to think what you could offer for your audience that they would be willing to pay a premium price for or to pay a continuous amount of money every single month in order for you to establish your, your continuity program. Uh, we have the example of the guy with the senior buns that yes. has standing bases. So he has five levels of membership mm -hmm. that are related to the, the machines that you use. And, and now, of course, he has other benefits in each level for them to pay. So again, always work with at least two levels in your continuity program or membership site. That's that's really crucial because there are people that will want to pay more to have more access to you. Yes. Uh, having access to you, Q&A, laser sessions. That's and uh, yeah, for co coaches and consultants, that's exactly it. Yeah. It's like what when you're thinking, okay, what can I put in my program? How can I structure? What are the benefits? Well, for sure, uh, access to you, access to the experts, will put them on a different level where they pay more. Yeah, and uh, again, this can make uh, a business have peace of mind with with that residual passive income coming every month, residual <laughs> passive income coming every month. Uh, we would like to invite you for our teleseminar. Uh, that is coming this Thursday. Yes. And for you to register, we are going to go in depth in this topic and show you several ways that you could implement a continuity program or start a membership-based program 
as a business in itself. Yes, it'll be awesome. Just make sure you register passiveincomebliss.com slash register. Uh, even income bliss dot com slash register. Passive income bliss dot com slash register. To know a lot more about continuity program. No, to sign up for a program for <laughs> the for the teleseminar program. It'll be actually it's gonna be excellent. Uh -huh. uh, we have a lot of uh, it's free to attend and we have a ton of content prepared for that. So yeah. it'll be fantastic. Yeah, and join us. And it's really, really something that doesn't matter which business you're in, you can implement in your business. But believe me on that one. And we'll show, during the call, we'll go through case studies like that. So Yeah, several case studies. Get your wheels going. And now, uh, <laughs> the two. You know, you might think that we, we don't have, we never say on this show, we are going to say this. Yeah, and sometimes the we, beginning. Yeah, we, we talk about that, if that's the best approach or so not. Do you really need that? Yeah, I would like to know what you think about it. So leave your comments. Because we do believe that being being natural uh, is part of storytelling. And in a story, they never tell you everything that is going to happen in that story. So in the end, the wolf is going to eat the grandma. I mean, or not. Right? But you really don't know. Yeah. Style. yeah, and we try to do that. And you see it's not scripted, so nope. that's why. Sometimes we stumble or disagree, but we are just trying to have a nice time with you. I would like to know your thoughts about that. Would you like to see on this show, you're going to see this and then this and then that or not? Because we would be happy to change. We can be more structured. Yeah, it would be tough for us. It but would we be. Can try. But we can try. For you, we can try. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have a cool tool for you. We do. If you go to google.com and you search for YouTube keyword selector, mm -hmm. It will go take you to a page where you can search keywords, just like any keyword tool, but specifically for YouTube videos. Yes, uh, as uh, you probably heard us speaking before, we think it's an awesome format for you to use videos to promote your business. It is. We use that a lot, and it's been really successful for us. But the thing is, even when you put the titles and everything, you gotta know what people are searching for. Yeah. Yeah, and this tool will tell you that. Not only that, there is one more thing it does. Oh. It also oh, tells me the URLs that have those keywords, oh, that's right. which means that if I want to go target my competitors, interact with their videos, and therefore pick back a little bit on their traffic, it will tell you. It will tell you that. So very valuable tool. Extremely valuable yeah. tool. You just have to go to Google, type google.com, search for YouTube keyword selector. Yeah, and and try that because it's really it's really interesting if you're trying to promote. Very eye opening, yeah. It, yeah. it gives you some uh, ideas, insights, on, yeah. insights exactly the word in the YouTube for. environment. And you know, with more than forty five percent of the market for video sharing sites, you cannot let YouTube out of your marketing strategy. And don't don't get blocked by the thought of oh my audience isn't on YouTube. Yeah, you okay. would be surprised. You would be surprised. Okay, I think that's all we have for today. That's all we have. Don't forget to register for the webinar. Register for the free webinar. Uh, PassiveIncomeBliss.com slash register. Yeah, and? See you on the call. See you on the call. See ya.